So here we are working remotely again with a need to request some time off for a dentist appointment. I'm going to show you how you can trigger a vacation request form directly from an email template for a quick and convenient way to access and request approval for the time off. Here we have Outlook for Mobile open. Let's navigate to our drafts folder where we have the vacation request template. We'll open it up and start filling it out immediately. We'll start by entering the email address of the account that monitors these types of requests, in this case, Complo Hybrid. We'll go ahead and enter the date. We'll follow that with the number of hours that we're going to be taking off that day. And then finally, we'll enter the email address of the manager or the manager that normally approves these types of requests. We'll go ahead and hit send. And you'll notice at the end, the signature contains some user information. That information can also be used to complement this process. So let's go back to our inbox. We'll give it a quick refresh here. Wait a couple seconds. And here you can see there's an email waiting for us from Compleo Hybrid with the subject vacation request. As the employee, I still have a few more steps to complete my part. Let's go ahead and click on the URL. This will take us to Compleo website to review and sign the document. So now that we're here in the mobile-friendly Compleo website, let's go ahead and review the items in red. We'll start off with the comments box here. All right, we'll indicate that we actually have a dentist appointment. We'll punch that right in there. All right, we'll go ahead and click OK. We'll take a look around, make sure everything looks good. We'll go ahead and sign it now. You'll notice here that we have a variety of options to sign, uh, including typing, drawing, and uploading a signature. We'll go ahead and just draw the signature here. As soon as we hit send, we'll go ahead and get this thanks splash screen here. So once signed by the employee, the form is sent to the next step of the process where the manager will review and approve. So now it's actually the manager's turn to interact with this process. The manager will notice a pending vacation request in his inbox. We can see it loading here. So he opens the email and quickly reviews the content of the request. He can click on the link to approve the employee's request. When clicking on the link, you'll notice he'll be taken back to WebSign to review the request along with the employee's comments. The manager double checks the request looks good and signs his part. So the manager here, instead of signing with his finger, he can go ahead and click on type it and just punch in his name, click on create, and once signed, the document will be fully executed as you'll see here. The final step of this process is the distribution of this document. As mentioned before, the document has been fully executed with WebSign, and now both signers, employee and manager, will be recipients of the signed document. We will open it up and see that all the information input by employee and manager is present along with their respective signatures. If we scroll down just a little bit, you'll notice an additional page has been added or appended to the end of the document. This was done by WebSign. You can account for the steps taken by each signer, which is great for traceability purposes. This approval slash signing process has been created for something as simple as a vacation request, but can be applied to other more slightly complicated processes of your business.